Hey guys, it is Rachel Archelaus, and you are watching the second video of Love Tober. Today is the self love challenge. So, if you want to participate, make a video with at least five things that you love about yourself and then tag five other people. I think it would be cool to stretch yourself a little bit and think of things that you love about yourself that you wouldn't normally say. So, outside the social norms. I think that would be super fun if we kind of got a little wiggly and and really proclaimed our love for ourselves in a very open way because the more we can normalize self-love, holy cow, the better the world will be. So I'm going to go into my self-love things here. I probably have more than five. I'm just gonna keep rambling <laughs> and hopefully will inspire you to dig deep and make your own self-love video and spread the love through Lovetober. Okay, first of all, I love that I always see one, two, three, four on the clock, which it is right now, and I never plan it. I love that I have a rock and bod. I think that's really cool. It's something I definitely don't show off much. This is my my favorite ensemble for such a reason, and you can see it's it's still pretty tame. I love that I'm psychic and that I can talk to amazing beings and ETs, all sorts of cool angels and other kinds of beings and non-beings and items and objects and such. I love being a teacher. I love that I seem to have a knack for guiding people into the information and lifestyle that they like to lead and also that I'm able to do that for myself. I love that I'm brave where I'm afraid. Right now my heart's pounding a little bit. I love that I care about people. I told a friend the story this morning that was kind of cool. When I was younger, probably 11 years old, I had this boyfriend in middle school and we kept like getting together and breaking up. I remember writing him two letters, not at the same time, but they were like really heart connected, really deep. I remember his reaction after he read it. He was sitting a couple rows in front of me in class. I was watching him read the note. <laughs> he looked back at me and was like, who are you? And it so took him aback because I think he had said some bad things about me. And so I wrote him this note about how much, you know, he was loved and I don't know like what exactly what it said, but I'll definitely never forget that. I love that I turned myself on. Do you guys feel that? Like I can, I can think I'm hot, like I can think that I'm in love with myself, like I don't know, I don't really hear too many people talk about that, so let me know if you've experienced that. I love that I try to take care of myself, but I don't beat up on myself if I don't. Like I just got over like a three week heavy duty chip addiction <laughs> and um, I wasn't beating myself up about it. I love that I follow my intuition, which has been the biggest blessing of my life. I love that I have faith in myself and I believe in myself. I love that I write. I love that I'm an artist. I love that I am able to express myself and really enjoy doing it and not stop myself because it's not perfect. I love that I'm willing to fail and fail a lot. I love that I drove my camper van across the country and up to Canada and back again all by myself and that was my first time ever sleeping in a van or driving a camper. That was a ballsy thing to do and I love that I do ballsy things. I love the crazy life that I've led like showing as an artist and starting a publishing company and having a candle company and a gift shop when I was 17 and I've never let anyone tell me I couldn't do something. Even if I couldn't, I would just try anyway, and it wouldn't really bum me out if, if it didn't work out. I love myself for who I am and what I'm willing to be and how I'm willing to evolve and change and not stay stuck. <laughs> this is getting harder. I love myself for like dancing like crazy and singing all the time and being happy for no reason but every reason. I love that I'm not above like fart jokes and dick jokes and sex jokes and masturbating jokes. Like I was just watching Louis C.K. video this morning. I think the title of it is I Don't Get Laid. <laughs> it was so, 
So funny. So funny. Anything fart jokes, I am in. But I love that I let myself experiment. I love how I got married to a definite soulmate. And after, you know, 10 years, we split up. It wasn't exactly working out. Um, but I still dove back in. Like, I was with a woman. Um, I was with multiple people. I was in an open relationship. I, I allowed myself to try different things to see what would work best for me. And I didn't judge myself for what I was doing, which was amazing. I think most of all, I love that I've not given up on love. Because after I left my marriage, we were so destined to be together. From the moment we saw each other, we knew we were going to get married. And then four years later, um, three years later, we started dating and were basically instantly engaged before our first date. And that was such a whirlwind, so intense, so intense. And after that didn't work out, I basically broke. <laughs> I thought that kind of crazy love was over for me. I didn't think I could love that deeply again you can have whatever you want. If you have felt something at all in your life, it's because you're capable of feeling it. And I can feel it right now in myself. I didn't give up on love. And I think Love Tober is kind of a testament to that all coming full circle. I want to know what you love about yourself. I really am interested. So share with me what you love about yourself and use hashtag Love Tober so I can find it. And don't forget to tag your friends. So who am I going to tag? All right. Carrie Roldan, Cindy Carrere, Christina Morassi, Lana Boss, and Aliyah Mira. Okay. Those are my five people. I can't wait to see your videos. And I'll see you again very soon for another Lovetober video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to intuitive art and you've never done it with me, go to intuitiveartacademy.com for your free class. You'll learn how to have a conversation with your higher self in three easy steps. That's intuitiveartacademy.com. And if you're already a pro or you've done the free class and you want to learn more about creating abundance from your purpose, go to workyourpurpose.com and you'll watch a free video series all about what it takes to create a purposeful income from doing what you love. All right, enjoy and I will see you later. Bye-bye.